And now, The View from Washington, an explanation of U.S. policy. At the release of the State Department's annual Trafficking in Persons report, Secretary of State John Kerry noted that all countries have a duty to fight against a $150 billion global industry that sells human beings for profit. It's a battle against money. Uh, it's a battle against evil. Traffickers are both ruthless and relentless. They know how to exploit the hopes of those desperate to escape poverty or to find shelter from disaster, from strife. Governments, he said, need to strengthen and enforce laws that will turn today's traffickers into tomorrow's prisoners. Unfortunately, little such effort is being made in Iran. According to the State Department, Iran remains a source, transit, and destination for men, women, and children subjected to sex trafficking and forced labor, and the government fails to comply with minimum standards for the elimination of trafficking. In fact, there were reports that government officials were involved in the sex trafficking of women and girls, as well as the harassment or blackmailing of Afghan boys who are at high risk of sexual abuse by their employers. And insufficient steps were taken by the government against organized criminal groups engaged in trafficking. Secretary of State Kerry said, the trafficking report is a call for all governments and individuals to recognize and act on the principle that a price tag must never be attached to the heart, soul, and freedom of a fellow human being. It is a fight, he said, we absolutely have to win. That was The View from Washington, an explanation of U.S. policy.